Cape Cod. No marks here, but they've been erased. I've dealt with the creatures. Now, tell me about Sanders. He got back several hours ago. Those things, they came because of him. What happened on the Titania? It was horrible. A damn massacre. I heard the shots. I went out. I saw the whole thing. Sailors bleeding, dying. Blood hit the water, and then... Then the wild beasts came to feast. I gotta find Sanders. Where is he? Saw him get away. Just after the shooting. Ran for the pier. Didn't see where he went after that. Did, uh... Did you see anyone else from the expedition? No. Only Sanders. I'd bet my life no one else made it back. The mayor's curse these days. Budge.
won't budge. Stay safe.
Officer? Well, look who finally decided to show up. If it ain't Charles Reed, the genius that cracked the case of Albert Throgmorton, Captain Caleb Lyons at your service. What can we simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes? Do you and I have a problem, officer? No, no. Aside from making everyone in the Oakmont Police Department look like idiots, let me be frank, newcomer. You ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T or dot an I, and I'll treat you like every other criminal here. Okay. Well, can I use the police archive in the meantime? You can, but only because of Mr. Throgmorton's patronage. And heed me well, you're on mighty thin ice, and I'll be under it when it breaks.
patient or visitor? Hold on, hold on. Let Dr. Grant guess. A visitor. Though you are a bit pale, you don't have a headache, do you? My head? Uh, no complaints. I'm good. Well, you're the exception these days. We're simply overflowing with patients. I'm looking for a man. Just checked in. Uh, cut up pretty bad. I've got a trauma unit full of patients like that, sir. Okay, um, this might ring a bell. My guy has a deep axe wound in his shoulder. Sir, I really don't have time for rifling through paperwork. But you're welcome to take a look at our archives if it means that much to you. It looks like hard work in these conditions. You need a hand? Well, yes, actually. But it may result in close contact with the wiles. Is that going to be a problem? I'm prepared to face men and beasts alike. Count me in. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. Well, I have taken it upon myself to study the wild beasts, but need more data to confirm two of my hypotheses. One concerns the multi-handed creatures, and the other the vomiting humanoids. What have you found out about the multi-handed beasts? One of my patients saw them in his nightmares before the flood. I can't visit him, but he must know something. Here's his address. Uh, those hideous wretches seem almost... human. But what could turn one into such a monstrosity? Jim Bells, a patient of mine, was admitted to hospital with symptoms resembling cholera, but he turned into one of those things. Incredible. Here's the address. Find out what happened. Bye. Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs>